Okay, as I said uh, in the second part, we will uh, discuss regarding the um, how it's called regarding the um, uh, TBS 909 card installed inside the setup with a MOI Pro AMD um, already working. So first step, uh, I will connect via um, putty to the MOI Pro AMD and I will launch the software called Sesbo Astra I will use the 8010 port and I will use it at daemon so I will demonize at as service this uh, fine DVB software the Sesbo Astra is produced by uh, some uh, guys from Ukraine uh, Astra Sesbo it's uh, very light and uh, it has a very useful uh, web interface. Um, the setup is a uh, MOI Pro AMD with CentOS 64-bit um, installed with uh, several cards. Uh, one of them is the TBS 6909. The second one is uh, the TBS uh, 6205 and uh, a bunch of uh, CI uh, CI uh, CAM modules. Okay, uh, first I will uh, launch the Astra Sesbo software. Here it is. I will hit the enter, and uh, here it is the web interface which I am. I will uh, tell about. Uh, the channel is already loaded, so basically the the steps to set up it's very simple you can go first in adapters you can add the new adapter from the right side right here right here here are the adapters which are installed of course you can put a name to the adapters um, and uh, you can scan the adapters and uh, once it's scanned it will uh, display the um, streams you can map the streams uh, the channels uh, each one and uh, automatically of course it will uh, give a IP address where it's possible to um, uh, grab the channel so the IP address uh, usually it's HTTP we will use unicast it's possible also multicasting so the playlist it's uh, usually here at the settings um, if I click settings and allow access to the playlist and channels via HTTP I will download um, of course the playlist uh, the playlist went to the downloads and uh, I will use the VLC media player to access of course the um, to access the channels um, I will uh, pick up open file and uh, we'll go to the downloads and uh, look for the playlist. Here it is the playlist. I will load it. And have a look. These are the channels as you can see here. Uh, aged several HD channels. They are from uh, the Romanian, uh, the Romanian uh, provider DG. Okay. Uh, if we right click and get the information you will see this is the unicast uh, it's uh, the IP address it's the port it's the play and the adapter chosen for each um, each channel uh, you can see we can pick another one and uh, this another one is having a different adapters and so on so um, as I said, uh, it's very easy to use, and uh, alongside with the um, um, uh, adapters and uh, uh, streams, here are the streams. You can see here on one of the stream, it show me the adapter. It show me single program stream, the program name. Of course, I can go for advanced option, and uh, of course, I can uh, give an output, an input, a different input and output and uh, also I have the possibility to add soft cam scrambling such as um, OSCAM or new cam D or uh, so something like that uh, if you, we go to the um, 
to the how it's called to the log you will see we also have here support for hardware scrambling with CI modules with CAM modules for example we have a uh, Conax and a via access conditional access module CAM module um, installed we also have uh, a um, uh, 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 Nagra 2 conditional access module installed and uh, this way uh, via this uh, very nice software from uh, Astra says well it's possible hardware and software scrambling on the channels uh, of course it's uh, possible to add a lot more channels it's possible to add 4k channels it's possible to use uh, HD channels all these channels coming from uh, one single adapter for example uh, it's the TBS 69098-tuner uh, uh, card um, this card as I told you it's very capable it has only four inputs but each input it's uh, individually possible to configure it to accept basically two inputs instead of one though the the the, um, the physical input is a single one for example for uh, one input we have uh, two hardware tuners attached okay so uh, we have a total of eight tuners uh, they are very very good tuners very good quality they are produced by um, um, TBS TBS it's uh, a very well known company for uh, providing uh, high quality hardware um, for uh, IPTV operators for television operators and uh, stuff like that so uh, the Astra Sesbo software which I have used here it's at version 5.61 yeah it has the streams it has the adapters it has the soft cam it has the sessions uh, for example if I start a stream here it will show me the stream right here yeah. in the sessions and uh, of course uh, I have the uh, monitoring logs I have uh, the possibility to enable more debugging and I can see if something is not working uh, uh, correctly so um, basically this is it uh, it's not a big deal it's uh, simple and it's easy as I told in my previous articles with TBS hardware IPTV it's just very simple to use for everyone I hope you enjoyed this small presentation and uh, this small uh, uh, show off of the TBS card and uh, of course of the Astra Sesbo software. Uh, I'll see you soon with the next uh, the next uh, review. The next review is gonna be in 2016. It's gonna be the quad transmitted the DVB-T uh, modulator TBS6024 thank you very much for uh, watching and um, seeing this uh, nice uh, hardware and software at work have a nice uh, day have a new nice new year and um, see you next year bye bye